Hello everybody, Colonator225 here, and welcome back to Subnautica, aka The Lassophobia, the game. Man, it feels good to be back. I know this isn't the longest break I've ever taken, but every single time it feels so freaking good to get back to uploading and making videos. Man, it feels good to be back. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode, we are going to be attempting, attempting, we are going to be attempting to continue the story. We've been exploring and building things. Now don't get me wrong, all that stuff, super fun, but I want to continue the story. And I think at this point where we are in the game, I think this might be one of, if not the best ways that we can do this. So today we're gonna to be going to a biome that we have been to before, just not for very long. We're gonna be going to the Grand Reef biome. Well, more accurately, the Deep Grand Reef. I think that's what it's called, but we're gonna be going to the Grand Reef today. And the reason for that is um, there's an item that we are going to need at some point for the, the storyline of this game. As you guys know, we have the purple tablet, but however, there's actually two more tablets that we're gonna need if we wanna beat this game. There's an orange tablet and there's a blue tablet. And today, we're gonna be going after this, the orange tablet. There's an abandoned base in the, uh, in the Grand Reef. That, w that has the orange tablet in it, as well as maybe something else. I'm not quite sure where it is, but I, th I think there's something else in there that we might want to try to get. But yeah, I feel like this is one of, if not the best way to continue the story at where we are in this game. So yeah, I can't freaking wait. It's gonna be so cool. And hopefully we find some cool stuff in there too, some cool creatures and some cool looking landscapes and all that stuff. And also I did some off-camera exploring and uh, I found another, uh, what's it called, time capsule. I found another time capsule somewhere. I think I remember where it is, so before we go over there, we're gonna try to get that first. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and find this freaking biome and this freaking, uh, Tablet. I upgraded the base again. Well, update, updated, upgraded. I don't know the right word, but I upgraded the base again. Hold on, I gotta go to bed. As you can see, the aquarium is much bigger. I did that so that way the uh, the kelp could grow fully and stuff like that. But it also gives our pets uh, more room to swim around in, so that's cool. And I also added this. I don't know what we're gonna be doing with that, but that's a little kind of back door entrance and then got this room right here don't know what we're gonna be doing with this yet and then we come back down here and I put a whole bunch of lockers right here and I'm even starting to label them so you got titanium copper silver gold and all that stuff got diamond right here I don't know what's gonna go in these ones yet but I'll figure that out all right guys Let's freaking do this. I'm gonna, we're gonna take the sea moth this time. Okay, so as for where the Grand Reef is, I think... That is that one island, right? Uh, where is the Aurora? Uh, yeah. Alright guys, so I think the Grand Reef is right underneath that island right there. I think we figured that out in a previous episode, I think. Sorry guys, my bad. I forgot where the uh, where the right island was. Anyways, now that we're on the right track, uh, hopefully everything turns out good and we don't get destroyed because the main thing with the uh, the grain reef are the crab squids. All right, when we get there, we have to make sure that we do not turn on the lights at all, not even with our tools. Those things are drawn to light and they will use an EMP to knock out any tool or electronic thing that we're trying to use. Another thing is I'm gonna try to keep our Seamoth parked somewhere outside of where we're gonna be. I feel like that'd be a good idea, a good-ish idea, maybe, depending on how much oxygen that we'll have. Oh, and we're here. All right, uh, that is the Grand Reef, but there's another place I want to go to. Where was it? Oh, 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 guys, I think this is the right spot. Turn up. I don't know what the freak that was. All right, guys, let's see what's in here really quick. What do we got here? Ooh, all right. From the knife to the seabed. Crash landing on a foreign planet, my first and most trusted tool was the knife. I've seen the deepest depths of the ocean planet and the darkest forms of life created. 
I'm glad to be alive, and I can't wait to share my story with those I miss so dearly. Cool. I mean, we don't really need it, but you know what? I'm I'm grateful either way. Oh boy, there I live, there I live, there I live. All right, what do we got down here? Ooh, this place goes deep. And here we are, guys. I think ooh, that's a warper. We gotta move. Why are there so many? Why are there so many warpers? What the heck? But yeah, guys, we're, uh, we're here. Um, at least I think this is the Grand Reef. Or is this the Deep Grand Reef? I don't know. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, that's a crab squid! Okay, okay, we are now in the Deep Grand Reef. I was just trying to get to the normal Grand Reef first. See we? Good news is, guys, we can shock these things. Ah, there we go. Whew. Not even the EMP blasters like those things. They don't like the shocks. No. Ooh, what are we... Nope. Okay, I was tempted at first, but now I see that that would have been a bad idea. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I don't know where we are. And I don't know where the thing we're looking for is. I'm just going to assume that it's where some of the more deeper parts are. Oh, there it is, it's right there. Just move, 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 move. I don't know who came up with the idea for this, but why would you choose to build your base in one of the scariest areas possible? Why would you do that? I'm gonna park right here. And get out, instantly switch to the sea glide. And we're just gonna book it in there. We're gonna book it. Alright? Book it over here. Whew. Gonna get in. We're gonna get what we came for. And we're gonna get the freak out of there. anything. Oh, we got a PDA. There it is. Integrating new PDA data. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Come on, there's some, I know there's something else in here. Integrating. Oh, he's right there. Okay. You guys ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Get the freak out of here. Get the freak back home. Come on. Come on. Come on. Back out of here. Back out of here. Back out of here. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're doing it, guys. Could you hurry? Freak up, please. Get it. Move. Go that way. Lights on. There we go. Guys. Guys, we did it. We have what we came for. I'm gonna save right here. And now I think we can make it if we ever need it again, right? Yeah, we can make it if we ever need it again. The orange tablet. Oh crap, it's a sea treaders. And there's a warper in there. And there's a warper. Please go away, warpy. I don't like you, warpy. Anyways, guys, if you've never seen these creatures before, they're technically a leviathan. These are, this is a leviathan class creature. But I think they're the smallest leviathans in the game. Hey, hello, hello. No, I don't want to hurt you. I'm not trying to bother you. I'm just trying to scan you. That's all. That's all. Here we go. Yep, look, sea treader leviathan. And as you guys can see, this leg right here is also their mouth. What the freak was that? Oh, oh. You, uh, you pooped. Oh, yeah, guys. I think the sea treaders actually have a whole biome to themselves. I think. I think it's called the sea treaders path. I'm pretty sure it's the, like, the migration area or something. Oh, we, we might be going into it. Hello. Hey, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. 
Anything down there? Nope. That looks like the dead zone. And I am not trying to go back there. We already had an experience there, didn't we, guys? Yeah, yeah, we did. It was, it wasn't fun. Why is it, why, why is it, why is it so dark? Can we, can we, can we get the light back? Guys, I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. But you know what? I want to go back to the Grand Reef now. I really... An alien base? What the heck? I'm assuming that we are supposed to take our prawn suit here. And get the freak out of here! Here's my idea. Here's my idea. I'm gonna go over here, park the sea moth in the Grand Reef, and then we're gonna use the sea glide, go back all the way over there. Let's see what is going on in here. Music's, music did a did a thing. Oh, do I have my flashlight? Yes, I freaking do. Flashlight on. Yeah. Ow. Goodness gracious, we got the cave crawlers in here. Oh, we got another portal thing. But I don't have any ion cubes. Do not take ion cubes. Is this portal just inactive? Can I? Hmm. Maybe this portal's just inactive. I have no clue. Usually it would do something and say, hey, you need an ion cube to use this, but that didn't, didn't do anything. So I bet that at some point we're going to be able to do something with this portal gateway thing here. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it now, so I guess we'll just head back to the Seamoth, um, figure out something else to do, maybe explore the Grand Reef a little bit more, head back to the base. Something like that. I mean, we got something right here, so... Yeah, why not? Why not? That's why not! Alright guys, let's do it! Let's do it! See what we got in here! So if any of you guys are playing Subnautica and, you, and you're having trouble finding the, uh, the grapple arm, go there. Go to the Grand Reef, find the wreck. There's plenty. And there we go, guys! So when, since when does a baby ghost leviathan live in the Grand Reef? I don't remember that. Here's a little taste of what your brother got that one time in the Lost River. Freak out of here. Okay, well, that was unexpected. Um... I didn't expect a, a baby ghost leviathan to be here. And also guys, I just want to say this, I have no idea what we're going to have to use the, uh, the orange tablet for. I don't know. So if anybody has any tips or something, let me know down in the comments. That would be amazing. I mean, I suppose I could just Google it, but it's more fun to, to hear it from you guys and, you know, get some, get some more interactivity in. So yeah, if any of you guys know what to do with the, uh, with the orange tablet, let me know down in the comments. And here we are, guys. Finally back home to freaking reef backland. Now we can go ahead and put the orange tablet with all the other tablets that we have. Man, that, that looks, ow, looks, looks like a, like a N combined with a H. One thing that I really wanna do is take the Cyclops somewhere. I mean, Behemoth, I wanna take Behemoth somewhere. I've just been so scared to actually drive Behemoth anywhere because I, I don't, I don't want it to get all broken and stuff like that over those big old rocks. But there's gotta be a way to just kind of bypass those, maybe go over them or something like that, even if it means getting out of the water a little bit. Hopefully not getting stuck. But yeah, I really want to take the behemoth somewhere. I feel like that'd be really cool. I mean, that's just part of the Subnautica experience. So yeah, guys, we went to the Grand Reef, we explored a little bit, we found the sea treaders, we got, we got the orange tablet, which is gonna help us exponentially for the, uh, when we eventually beat the game. And also, guys, here's another thing that I want to do for the Subnautica series. I really, really want to explore at least most, if not all, of the biomes in the game before we beat it. I want to find every biome, I want to go there, even if it doesn't end up being on camera, I want to visit every single biome in this game. But yeah guys, I can't freaking wait for the next episode, it's gonna be freaking awesome, and I had a great time, and I really hope you guys had a great time too. Man, this was fun, this was fun, and I can't wait 
to freaking beat this game. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, and if you want to join the family and see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!